Hello friends, this video on changes around us part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Change, Reversible Changes, Irreversible Changes, Examples of Changes from Day-to-Day -day Life. So change. What comes to your mind when you think of change? A lot of changes keep happening around us. In fact, a lot of changes keep happening within ourselves. So what kind of change are we talking about? You go to a parlor to get a haircut. So when you get a new haircut, what happens? You look different. You look changed. Right? So what is that change that has happened in your body? So your hairstyle has changed. Maybe earlier you had long hair, now you have short hair. Or maybe earlier you had straight hair, now you have curled hair. So the pattern of your hair or the style of your hair has changed because of which your look is different. So that difference which is being noticed is nothing but change. You think of uh, a piece of paper. So right now you have a piece of paper on which something is written. Now, what would happen if this piece of paper is cut into pieces? If you tear it into pieces, what happens? So does now the pieces of paper look exactly similar to how it used to be before? No. Earlier, this is how it looked, the entire sheet of paper. But now you, you see multiple pieces of that paper. So there is a change that has happened because now it looks different. It, its shape has changed, its size has changed. So basically, there is a change. You think of a chocolate. Now, as long as you keep it with, with inside the refrigerator, it is like quite solid and proper. Now, if you keep it outside for quite some time, what happens? The chocolate starts to melt. So, if you keep it in sun or keep it under high temperature, it, it starts melting. So, do you think that a change has taken place? Yes, because now the malt... The molten chocolate looks quite different from that of the solid chocolate. So we see that there is a change. Think of an egg. So we often prepare omelette from egg. So don't you think that they are different? Omelette and egg. They Both of them appearance wise they are different. Taste wise they are different. I mean shape, size, everything is different. So there also, that there also we have a change. Because the omelette is anyways prepared from the egg. So both are kind of linked. But still they are so much different from each other. So in each of these examples, we see that something new is happening. So whether you take a haircut, you look different. You have a new look. Whether you talk about tearing a paper into two pieces, so there also you have a new shape, new size. You talk about a chocolate which is melting when kept under the sun. There also there is a new shape, a new form of the same chocolate. Or you talk about the omelette which is being formed from the egg. So when you fry it, the structure, the composition of the omelette changes and it becomes quite different from that of the egg. So see, everywhere you see a change. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about a lot of changes. We will talk, we will take huge number of examples that happen around us and we will see how changes are different. So certain changes are different from others. So we will talk about change in detail. So how do we define change? What is change? So change is anything that becomes different, undergoes a change. So so that's what I was telling. Wherever you see something different, something new, that means a change has occurred. So you take the example of a piece of paper and let's say you burn the piece of paper. What would happen? After some time, this initially you had this piece of paper and after you burn it later, all that you will have is the ashes. So once the paper is completely burned, you will be left with the ashes alone. So in this case, did you notice a change? Of course, a big change is being noticed. Here, the ashes in no way is similar to the paper in shape or size or color or texture. So completely different. Ashes are completely different from the paper. So basically, a process has taken place due to which something different is formed. So that something different is the ash. So therefore, we say that yes, there is a big change that is involved here. So wherever you see something different happening, that means there is a change involved. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience.
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.